Most High Christ Bless. I'm Captain Amaziah. With me I have Soldier RL. Soldier RL. And today is 15 minutes with your captains, okay? So the topic of today is Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances against us, okay? We're going to break that down and show you what it truly means, okay? Not the Christian, my, the Christian misunderstanding of that scripture, okay? So let's get it. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. So that scripture is used by Christians to say, Christ nailed God's laws to the, to the cross. We could do whatever we want. I could eat the pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. I could sleep with whoever I want. I could celebrate Christmas and Easter and birthdays now. I could do any evil that I want. It's deep evil in the Bible, but specific verses in the Bible Christians will use to break God's laws and be evil as hell. Read it again. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, uh -huh. which was contrary to us. Let me ask you a question. Just Let's just think logically right quick. It says, blind, which was contrary to us. Is thou shalt not kill contrary to you? Is thou shalt not steal contrary to you? Then you must be evil as hell. If you think this is talking about God's laws right here. Read it again. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, uh -huh. which was contrary to us, uh -huh. and took it out of the Did way. Jesus Christ nailed that to the cross. Did he nail, thou shalt not kill to the cross? Did he nail, thou shalt not steal to the cross? Did he nail, don't commit adultery to the cross? No, he did not. John 15 and 10. Now, let's go to Jesus the Christ. This was before Paul said this in Colossians chapter 2, right? Read. John 15 verse 10. If you keep my commandments. Uh-oh. Christ said, if you keep my commandments. You shall abide in my love. Oh, okay. Even as. I have kept my father's commandments. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So Jesus Christ kept God's laws. Wait a minute, that's a boom. Drop the bomb on that right there. Okay, Christ said out of his own mouth, I kept God's laws. Right? Now, let's go to Acts 13, 38. Let's go to the book of Acts. Now, this is after Christ. Christ said he kept the law, right? Now, let's go after Christ. Acts chapter 13, verse 38. Read. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, Read. that through this man, through Christ, that's this man, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Unto you is preached, brothers and sisters, the forgiveness of sins through the blood of Christ. Read. And by him, by Christ, all that believe, all that believe, meaning you repent, you believe on his truth, you're going to keep God's laws. Are justified from all things. So if you was a murderer, guess what, brother? You could repent. If you was an adulterer, you could repent. If you was uh, breaking the Sabbath, you could repent. If you was a thief, you could repent. Any evil, you can repent from that now. There's something called grace, okay, that we're all under. That we have repentance through Christ. Read. From which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. So... You could not be justified if you was under the law of Moses and you was an adulterer. No, you was put to death. You break the Sabbath, you put to death. You're a murderer, you're put to death. Okay? Now in the Christ, what can you do? Repent. Go back. Colossians 2, 14. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. So what is this talking about then? If it's not talking about thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, don't commit adultery... What is it talking about? Let's go to the book of Numbers, chapter 19. Numbers, chapter 19, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance. This is what? This is the ordinance. This is the ordinance. We're going to read about an ordinance. Let's see what it entails. Of the law. This is the ordinance of the law. Read. Which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. that they bring thee a red heifer. Here's what I want you to do with this ordinance. Get a red heifer, right? Without spot. Make sure this red heifer is without spot. This red heifer got to be without spot. 
wherein is no blemish. This particular heifer got to be red. It's got to be without spot and without blemish. You got to have this ordinance a certain specific way. And upon which never came yoke. And it can never have a yoke on it. Go back now. No, go to Hebrews 9 and 10 now. So this ordinance that we just read about is a red heifer without spot, without blemish. What do you, what do you think they're going to do with this red heifer? It's called sacrifice. They're going to sacrifice. The ordinances, the ordinances are talking about sacrifice. Hebrews 9 and 10. He now we went to the Old Testament. Now let's go to the New. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 10. Which stood only in meats and drinks. Start at verse 9. Hebrews 9 verse 9. Which was a figure for the time then present. That's talking about the tabernacle, the first tabernacle. Okay, we need to read verse 8. Read. Meaning in, old covenant. Read. In which were offered both gifts and sacrifices. Read. That could not make him that did the service perfect. As pertaining to the contract. Talk about the Levites that did that did the sacrifice and the offerings, okay? They were imperfect, okay? Trying to atone for your sins. Read. Which stood only in meats and drinks. Uh-huh. And diverse washings. Diverse washings. And carnal ordinances. And what? Carnal ordinances. And what? Carnal ordinances. Read. Imposed on them. Imposed on the Israelites. Until the time of reformation. And that time of reformation is Christ being the, the high priest. Okay? So now there's no more Levitical priesthood. Okay? They don't take care of no sacrifice no more. Because why? Because Christ died. Okay? That's the ultimate sacrifice. So the ordinances are talking about what? The, uh, uh, the carnal ordinances, the sacrifices and so forth. The offerings. Okay? That's what it's talking about. Go back. No, no, no. Go to Hebrews 10 and 4. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. So the Bible says these sacrifices, they're not going to remove that sin from you. Okay? There's a remembrance of sin year by year when you read up above. Read. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world. When he cometh into the world. He saith. Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. That's from the, that's from Psalms chapter chapter 40, verse 6. That's from the old testament. They've been saying this. Read. But a body has thou prepared me. And that body is Christ's body. Read. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Jump to verse 9. Verse 9. Then he said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Uh-huh. He taketh away the first. He taketh away the first covenant. That he may establish the second. That he may establish the new covenant, brothers and sisters. That's what this is talking about. The blotting out of handwriting of ordinances is what? The sacrifices. The carnal ordinances and so forth that go along with the sacrifices, brothers and sisters. That's the first covenant. Christ took it away, nailing it to his cross. Let's go to verse, Hebrews chapter 9. Go back to chapter 9, verse 12. Hebrews 9 and verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood. By Christ's own blood. He entered in once into the holy place. Uh-huh. Having obtained eternal redemption for us. Having obtained of eternal redemption for us. Read. For if the blood of bulls and of goats... And the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. Read. How much more shall the blood of Christ, which through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works. Purge your conscience from what? Dead, dead works. Animal sacrifice, brothers and sisters, and the ordinances that went along with it are dead works. Read. To serve the living God. To serve the living God, not through animal sacrifice. Let's go to Colossians 2.14 again. Colossians 2 and verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against so us. So wait a minute. It says blotting out the, the handwriting of these ordinances, but it says they're against us. How are they against us? Hebrews 10 and 1 now. Hebrews, We're going to read 1 through 3. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. Uh-huh. 
and not the very image of the things. Uh huh. Can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. So guess what, brothers and sisters? We were offering year by year, right? But we were still wicked as hell. There was no change. That's why we kept going into captivity after captivity after captivity. We know slavery more than we know freedom, brothers and sisters, okay? Read on verse 2. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? You see that? When did they cease to be offered? You wouldn't have to sacrifice if you would stop committing the sin. Read. Because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. See that? Once we offer, we're supposed to stop committing the sin. But what do we have inside of us? Certain lusts. Certain, certain things going on with us. We break certain laws and so forth. What happens? We went into slavery for that thing. And we go to, we're in slavery today for that thing. Read verse 3. But in those sacrifices. But in those carnal ordinances. There is a remembrance again. Made of sins every year. See that? There's a remembrance of sin every year. Let's go to, back to Colossians 2, 14. Back to Colossians 2 and 14. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. Uh-huh. That was against us. That was against us, brothers and sisters. Guess what? How else is these things against us? Well, if you break the Sabbath, what happens to you under the, under these uh, uh, carnal ordinances and sacrifices? You die. Your blood has to be shed now. There is no there is no animal that could be shed for you. If you're an adulterer, there is no animal or sacrifice or carnal ordinances that could be shed for you. Your blood has to be shed now. Read. So this is how it was against us. Read. Which was contrary to us. It was contrary to us. And took it out of the way. Jesus the Christ took animal sacrifice and the carnal ordinances that go along with the sacrifices out of the way. Doing what? Nailing it to his cross. He nailed that thing to his cross. Hebrews 8 and 10. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 10. So what are we talking about? Christ nailed what to his cross? Animal sacrifice. And the ordinances, the carnal ordinances that went along with it. No longer no meat offering, drink offering, and so forth. He nailed all that to the cross. Read. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Uh-huh. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. I'm going to put my laws into their minds. Read. And write, and write them in their hearts. Read. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Uh-huh. And they no, no, no. Read verse 7. I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted. Verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, if the first covenant had been perfect, then should no place have been sought for the second. Why would we need a new covenant if the first one was perfect, brothers and sisters? Read. For finding fault with them, for finding fault with the Israelites under the first covenant, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. Go to Colossians 2.14 now. So the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament says animal sacrifice is just for a period until the reformation, meaning Christ comes. Read. Colossians 2 and 14. So now we should have the understanding of Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. What the, what the uh, um, carnal, the handwriting of ordinance is. Okay. It's not talking about thou shalt not kill. It's not talking about you can steal now. You can't commit adultery now. You can't be wicked as hell now, like Christians are, okay? No, this is talking about carnal ordinances and the sacrifices. That's what it's talking about, animal sacrifice. Read. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. He's blotting that out, the ordinances. Read. Which was contrary to us. Read. And took it out of the way. And he took that out of the way. He took animal sacrifice out of the way. No longer are we sacrificing. Guess what? The temple, the temple is no longer there for you to sacrifice to anyway. You ain't got no temple. You can't sacrifice anyway. Because Christ is the ultimate sacrifice. He's the one that made atonement with the shedding of his blood. Read. Nailing it to his cross. Nailing it to his cross, brothers and sisters. So I pray... 
you brothers and sisters learn something about Colossians chapter 2 verse 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. I'm Captain Amaziah. So Jarrell. And with that, brothers and sisters, this is 15 Minutes with the Captains. Shalom. Shalom. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.